Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to say how incredibly proud I am to be representing Minnesota District. It is an honor that I do not take lightly, and I am excited to get to work for my constituents. Here in the House, we have hit the ground running. During my first two weeks in Congress, we took steps to jumpstart our economy by addressing the massive web of regulations that were issued by unelected and unaccountable bureaucrats in the administration. In fact, 2016 was a record-breaking year for federal agencies. Unfortunately, the record they set is not a good one. In 2016 alone, there were 3,853 finalized rules and regulations amounting to 97,110 pages. That is more than any year in history. Based on the page numbers alone, this amount of regulations may seem staggering, but the economic costs are even more damaging. In 2015, regulations cost American consumers and small businesses an estimated $1.88 trillion in lost economic productivity and higher prices. Now, many in Washington have started to call federal regulations the fourth branch of government, unelected branch of government when it comes from the agencies. For too long, these regulators have run rampant, hurting our small businesses, stifling job growth, and hampering our economy. In fact, we've had one of the slowest economic recoveries coming out of a severe recession in modern times. That is why last week I was proud to join my colleagues in passing the RAINS Act and the Midnight Rules Relief Act. Additionally, this week we passed the Regulatory Accountability Act. And so today I am proud to introduce my first piece of legislation, the Reforming Executive Guidance Act. This will further increase transparency and ensure that regulatory agencies are held accountable for their actions. My bill will ensure that significant guidance documents promulgated by the regulatory agencies are subject to congressional review. These guidance documents are only meant to clarify regulations. However, over the years, executive agencies have used these guidance documents more and more often to expand their power and make significant policy changes. We are the accountable branch who are to make those policy changes. These policy changes are negatively affecting our businesses and imposing these significant costs on our economy. Now, my bill simply ensures that significant guidance documents are fully subject to the Congressional Review Act and the Administrative Procedures Act notice and comment requirement. Not only does this increase congressional oversight, it also increases transparency as the public will now have the ability to review these guidance documents before they are finalized. I ask my colleagues to join me in supporting this straightforward, common sense legislation. And I look forward to working with my colleagues throughout the 115th Congress as we address the major issues facing the American people. Thank you, and I yield back my time.